All right. As the title suggests, we are here to battle with Dune, uh, and uh, I planned this workshop to be very hands-on. Plan for you guys to work along with me and write some queries on Dune. Uh, I hope your internet works just enough for you to do to be able to do that. But otherwise, we still have some content that's stored offline, and we'll have a great time. So I have added. Uh, all slides to this QR code, so you can scan it and get slides. You will be able to access all links that are shared in the presentation. So those of you who would like to do that, I'll just give a moment uh, for you to do that. And so, uh, how many of you are here, by the way, familiar with Dune? You have used Dune, uh, or at least seen a Dune visualization. Uh, can I see a raise of hands? A quick raise of hands, please. Okay, so a few of you. So you must have come across uh, visualizations, dashboards like these uh, over Dune. And for me, the best place to start for any new programming language or a technology like this is to write a Hello World program. So without any further delay, what I wanted to do was to just go to dune.com and start writing queries. So OK, I don't think that's going to work. Uh, but we can continue the presentation. So basically, uh, Dune has decoded tables from all, ki all, all blockchains that, uh, uh, that are mainstream right now. We have data from Ethereum, we have data from Polygon, L1s, L2s, Arbitrum, Optimism, and now even Solana. So this data is a community sourced in a big way. Uh, the community submits contracts for decoding, and that's how the data gets available on Dune.com. And everything that you see on Dune, all dashboards like these that you see on Dune.com, uh, when you go to the Dune website, you see all these uh, trending dashboards, uh, which cover the latest in all blockchains, all protocols. When you when you go to this website, everything that you see has been curated by the community, and it's open source. It's available for you to use. Uh, when you click on one of these dashboards, uh, if it opens with good internet, you get to view the query with which the data has been fetched, and you get to modify that query and you know make it work for your own own use case. Um, so I am here particularly for the API. We, as the Dune team here, are particularly at ETH India for the newly launched API. The API is still in beta, and you guys get very early access to it. And what the API does is, everything that I just showed you, all Dune queries, dashboards, all that data is now available on an API endpoint for you to consume in any medium that you like, in your applications, directly on your front ends if it permits, or, you know, replace your entire data engineering pipeline with just a simple Dune query. Uh, so it's a very powerful API. It's a very simple API, but its capabilities make it very powerful because of the community sourced work that's been done on Dune. So I have the Dune API documentation open with me right over here. And it's as simple as you go to any query that you like, would like, you'd like to access on the API, the data from any query that you'd like to access on an API endpoint. You take the query ID. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So on in when whenever you are on dune.com, there is a query ID associated with any query that you see on Dune. You take that query ID and you just call our execute query endpoint, execute query API endpoint with that query ID, which returns an execution ID. Then you take that execution ID and you get your data right just like that. So you pass the execution ID to our get query results endpoint, and you get the data. So basically, with just two API calls, any data available on Dune is now available on an API endpoint. That's how simple and how powerful the Dune API is. Um, so I have created a sample application as well for you to so show how we can go from a Dune query to a Dune app very quickly, uh, now that we have API access to Dune. So. Uh, if the internet works just fine, what I'm going to do is, this GitHub repository, by the way, is publicly available, and it is linked in the presentation as well. Uh, this is the link to the GitHub repository. I'm going to try to fetch this code uh, and just show you how you can use the same code to run any query and quickly build an application on Dune. So I am going to make another folder. I'm going to call it ETH India. And I'm going to go into this folder. And I'm going to clone this repository. 
and I'm going to give it a few seconds with the current internet that we have and come back to the presentation. So uh, while the code is being fetched uh, on, on the terminal, uh, I'll quickly go over the steps that you need to follow to get an API key for yourself. So we have specially prepared a hacker guide for ETH India hackers. You can again get it if you have scanned the presentation already. Uh, you already have the link. Otherwise, there's another QR code here. You can scan it and you will get the hacker guide we have prepared specially for you guys. And it has all the details for you to get started, different ideas with which you can get started, and most importantly, how you can get an API key. So there's a form, a short form that you'll need to fill up and we'll quickly set you up. You'll find the API key in your email shortly after you fill up the form. And after, after which, we also have bounties. I'm going to talk more about that. Uh, so I can see the code has been fetched, the code for the Dune app template that I've just prepared. So I'm going to show you the steps that are needed to quickly spin up a Dune application using this template that you see right in front of me. I'm going to open this code in VS Code. So this little part over here is something that developers might be able to follow uh, more, more easily. Uh, but any of Okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm also going to try to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, so what I, yeah, you can see now? Fantastic. So what I did here was, uh, there is this link to GitHub repository, which is also in the presentation. I'll again share the QR code to the presentation, so you'll have all the links in place. So I, what I did is, I just clicked on code on GitHub. I just copied this, uh, get URL, and I cloned it into my local system, right? This is pretty much all I've done. And to open the code in VS Code, I just read, uh, I've written this little line. Uh, I'm going to move a little quickly, so those of you who are not developers might miss a few steps, but we have our booth right here. Uh, please come to us. Right now we are a little bit crunch on time, so I'm going to move a little faster. But please come to us, we are here to help you. We'll get you across any step that you're stuck on. We are here to help you build with the Dune API, right? So, yeah, so I opened this code in my VS Code, and I trust the authors. I am the author. And um, I'm going to quickly copy this environment variable file. So there is the environment.example file, which you need to copy to just pass the API key to the application. So I'm just going to create a new file. I'm going to call it .env, and I'm going to paste this over here. So I have my API key stored with me right now um, in the Dune folder. Um, just give me one second. I prepared this just now. Yeah, okay, found it. So I'm going to be deleting this API key, so that's nothing to worry about. And I'm going to paste this API key into my environment variable file, which is to pass this API key to my application. I'm going to save this. And another change that I'm going to do is, there's a file called application.py, app.py. What I'm going to do is just pass a query ID, a Dune query ID to this application. And that's pretty much all. So like you pass this query ID, you just edit this query ID. I have an example ID right here. I'm going to take this and add this over here. And this template is pretty much ready. Just one last minute change which you would not need to do, uh, but I'm doing it for the demo over here. And now, now we are good to go. So, and I need to uh, activate my virtual environment. Yeah, and I can run my application. Uh, I ran into an error, error over here. Let me try to debug this. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, now we're good. Yeah, now it works. Fantastic. So yeah, this is the template app. So we went from a Dune query to an application just like that in a couple of steps. 
Uh, this exact steps are listed on the GitHub repository. And again, as I said, we are at the boot to help you out. And if the internet works, this application should actually work right away. So within this application, you saw I passed a particular query ID. You saw this query ID being passed over here. So I'll quickly show you what this query actually does. So I have this query open at dune.com with me right here. So this is a query that fetches the total amount of US dollars spent uh, by any particular address in their entire transaction history on Ethereum. This is what this query does. So it takes an argument as an address, as any wallet address on the Ethereum blockchain, and it gets you the total amount spent in US dollars. So the details of this query uh, are something that if you want to learn about, you can again come to our booth and we'll definitely explain you. Uh, but right now you can consider this as a black box. The good part about the API is, So the good part about the API is that you do not need to understand these queries. You do not need to understand SQL. All this work has been done by a community. You take the query ID, you catch the, get that data on an API endpoint just like that. So all the work that has been done by the community, you get access to it and build interfaces on top of it with the API. So I'm going to quickly show how this works in the Dune interface. Uh, I'm going to take a ran random address. Uh, so 0x5 sub.eth, it's an address that belongs to one of my friends. Uh, and while I wait for this etherscan link to load, I'm going to go back to my application. OK, this is loaded. Fantastic. And I'm going to, so when I paste this address here and I run this query, it just fetches the data for me. It fetches the total amount of US dollars spent by this address on the Ethereum blockchain and all their transactions, the sum total of all, all their amount. So right now, it, it's uh, in the Dune interface. It's on the dune.com interface. And the same thing is now available to us on an application. And this is taking a little while extra. It's quicker than this, uh, again, because of the internet, as you all know, the internet situation right now. So coming back to my presentation. I'll come back to the application and show you when the results are loaded. Uh, but coming back to the presentation, uh, yes, we have $10,000 of bounties on offer. Uh, five applications, uh, five top applicants uh, to this bounty will get $2,000 each. And we have some swag for collection. So you can come to the booth and see the swag that we have. And we're very serious about our swag. Uh, what you see here is available only for this event. It would never be available again. You, we, in fact, have a page dedicated to how serious we are about our swag. You can check dune.com slash lookbook to, uh, to, see, to have a look over that. And so that's about the bounties. And I'm going to come back to the application. Uh, well, it's still running because I suppose the internet. Um, coming back to a presentation again. Uh, so I've also attached a link to our Discord. Uh, that's the best place for you to get into the Dune community. It's super active uh, with not just our community team, but the community of wizards we have built, the data analysts who use Dune every day. Uh, so many of them are using this uh, for their full-time jobs now. And they are all hanging out on our Discord. You can come and start uh, playing around with Dune, playing around with the Dune API, and you would find us there. And uh, you can follow us on YouTube, as well as Twitter. So YouTube particularly, we are releasing some really good content. Uh, Andrew Hong, if any of you are in the Web3 data space, you probably follow Andrew Hong. He has recently joined us full time, and he's going to be releasing some amazing content on our YouTube channel. So stay subscribed there. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, give us a shout out while you're building at ETH India using the Dune API. And uh, you know we'll retweet you, and we'll follow you back. And with that, let me come back. Yeah, so the connection was aborted because I guess it took too long. So I'm, if you want to have a real demo of this application and the things that were actually planned for this workshop, you can, of course, come to the workshop, uh, come to the booth. Uh, we would be there for all three days. Uh, if you guys keep coming to the booth, I'll be hanging out there late until night. I'll be there building with you, hacking with you. So our team, our team is here. Uh, we have our champion community wizard, uh, Zero X Boxer, aka Florian, over here, uh, who has built the Dune community from ground up. Come say hi to him. Uh, come say hi to David, Bell, and me. Uh, we are all at the Dune booth. And with that, I think I'll open for questions because 
uh, with limited internet i don't think i can actually do more demos so uh, those of you who, who might have some questions about dune any kind dune or the dune api uh, we are open to taking them and you can raise your hands and someone will help you out uh, yeah can you raise your hands again please uh, hi so what is the source of your data and do you publish it i mean i did see either scan on there so i guess that's one of them but what about the others yes yes so the the thing about uh, data from blockchains is it's all openly available so this data is nothing that dune is curating it's available on blockchains openly what dune is doing is it just making it easy for you to access it that's all we are doing so etherscan is one ui on top of the same data so if the internet was working i would have actually gone to etherscan and shown you how the same data is available on dune and etherscan and perhaps on many different platforms we're just building a ui on top of these chains so this is a completely new paradigm for data and dune is just trying it trying to make it super easy to you know have it in a place where you can analyze all this data in a very simple way uh, like you don't even need to install anything you can be on any system you just need a browser you go to dune.com and you can start analyzing blockchain data data straight from blockchains guys so does that answer your question thank you so i had a chance to go to the booth so before i get to my question i just like yeah. to know that can we have like customized sql queries run like basically yeah 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 so of course okay so if we can do that let's say um, i have like multiple sources of data one of them let's say is on ethereum chain or something but others are like let's say mongo db production database or something like that so does dune have a facility where i can use like let's say uh, db like mongo db along with like uh, some chains to analyze all those things at one place or will i have to do that separately yeah absolutely so this is where our api comes in right so uh, before i continue my answer i'll just check with the organizing team so i have to use the same mic or is there a different mic with the headphone uh, i'll use the same mic i need to be here or i can walk around and it still works uh, does it still work or okay i'll check with my mic all right um so of course this is where the api comes in so you can combine data from dune you can take it out to an api endpoint you can get it into the media into a medium that you're familiar with it could be tableau it could be any database it could be a mongo db database that you want to get that data into uh, so our data is organized in sql format so it will need some work for you to you know combine data from two sources one is nosql and one is sql but yes it's possible uh, and in fact we are here to help you with just that so come to our booth and we'll help you out we'll fix you up i'll just go to my second question there on yeah so uh, from what i heard you can basically use uh, dune also as a uh, data engineering platform like to set up pipelines and all right uh, so i didn't see that in the demo so maybe yeah. i'll come to the booth and no 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 i'll just give a quick answer to that as well okay. so what i meant by that was currently if you have to source data from chains you have to build very sophisticated engineering infrastructure so those of you who are developers here you would know how much pain that is So what Dune does is, if you want very customized data, you want some exact data that you want from chains and nothing else, you can simply write a SQL query instead of building that entire infrastructure. Now that gets outsourced to Dune. So Dune is taking care of building your engineering team and engineering in infrastructure. You just write the query, you get the data into your own database using that. And of course, again for implementational details, uh, come to our booth. Yes, Happy sir. to answer. Thank I think you also touched about multiple chains, so I'll drop a quick note on that as well. so some of you had uh, questions already about uh, do we support data from different chains and do we support cross chain data so on dune.com you will find something called dune engine v2 which is especially meant for cross chain data analysis so you can actually combine data from ethereum and polygon if people have addresses across chains which is uh, same similar addresses across chains you can get their transaction data across chains in a single query in a single table uh, so this is also super powerful and we would love for you guys to explore that as well so it is possible to do cross chain analysis it is possible to take dune's data and combine it with off chain data uh, everything's uh, possible and we are excited to see what hackers here build with the api now that all of this is possible uh, all right next question please hey so my question is let's say i have an nft marketplace and i want to fetch all the nfts held by a particular user from the wallet address so for that i usually do a solidity function to fetch all the data so how is that different from the dune 
<laughs> yeah, so you just mentioned uh, the complexity that you go into to get that simple uh, piece of data. For Dune, it's going to be super simple. So we have created an aggregated NFT table, which is called NFT.trades. And this is again being done by the community. So we have an initiative called Spellbook, and we have a GitHub repository called Spellbook. Uh, GitHub.com slash Dune Analytics slash Spellbook. So over there, uh, our community is aggregating data from across chains, from across protocols of different NFTs, and it is they have integrated it into a single table called NFT.trades. So every trade that has ever happened on any NFT, it's all aggregated into a single table. And if you want to query data for a particular address, what you simply have to do is select star from NFT.trades, where address is equal to the address that you want. And it will happen in minutes. Like You just go to dune.com, you write this query, and you have all that data. And now you can get it on an API endpoint. Use it in your application. Uh, one, one other problem is that when I try to fetch all the NFT, let's say it have... I can't. Uh, can you be a little louder, I guess? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. OK, so another problem is that, uh, let's say I, the wallet has 100 NFTs. So for every NFT, I have to you know make a different RPC call. So will that be same for the Dune, or the Dune simplifies it also? Um, so I think this is a question you would have to come to our booth, and we'll be happy to go into further details of this. Yeah, OK. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, more questions? All right. I'm trying to look into the back if anyone has, still has any questions. Uh, in any case, uh, you know, our booth is Okay, we have one question. Okay, uh, I was just also asking about your community program. So you have this wizards program. Like, what's the, uh, like, what's it like? Like, you have uh, like a progression there. You have certain. Can you talk about that? Right. So. Um, you just mentioned wizards. So uh, the community that has grown around Dune, people who are actually doing data analysis on Dune, we call them wizards. And uh, because it just feels magical to be able to get data from chains just like that. And when you say we have a program for wizards, uh, I wouldn't say we have a program for wizards, but we do value our community very highly. And uh, uh, there is an entire community team at Dune dedicated to just supporting our wizards. So if you start working on Dune, if you start doing data analysis on Dune, or even using our API now, so uh, yeah, so you would be in our wizard community. And uh, I mean, this is something to be experienced. So just come into our Discord, hang out with us, build with us, and you'll get to experience uh, what it's like to be there. So that's uh, the answer to your question. Yeah. All right. OK, uh, thank you so much, uh, everyone, for your time. And uh, please come say hi to us at the Dune booth. Uh, we would love to help you build with the Dune API. Thank you so much.